I've been getting new subscribers on Substack, and every time I get one, I kind of feel bad because I'm like, I'm not really, I'm not really a content creator. Like I share stuff, but it's not my focus. I don't do any editing. I don't do any scripting. I, I just share what I've learned and right there. And it's like, uh, well and truly winter is over. Right. And, uh, so I shaved my head. I do that pretty much every time winter is over, uh, spring and summer it grows in you know yeah it's high um and I, I like i said i've been getting the subscribers and i wanted to say something but i i basically don't say anything until i have something to say you know i i don't set a schedule for myself and be like it's time to make content now and then go look for some some reason to make something it's like i don't know it just it just feels inauthentic for me to do that kind of thing hi there hi there how you doing oh you're so happy why are you so happy do you like the pepperonis were they good oh were they good everyone loves you everyone loves him yes they do um but I do have something to say now, <clears throat> in addition to stuff like that, that's just kind of floating around, making conversation type stuff. Uh, I don't know how people cope. Like, how I cope is uh, video games. And I, I, like, sort of check social media, but my social media has been completely swamped by the fact that there's a genocide and a dystopia happening. Like, it used to be interesting things that were you know some bad some good but man now it's like emergency mode everybody's in in deep emergency mode because they're i mean just look at things right i, I don't think that's inorganic at all i think it's just my normal stuff includes you know focus of the fact that our collective house is on fire and you know, so naturally there's not going to be anything else. But I mean, what can I do that I've that I haven't already done? You know, uh, like I said, it feels all in or inauthentic and inorganic. Like I could just constantly talk about the same thing over and over and try and reach people. But the thing is, I've really learned. Goodness, I've really learned that. Uh, It kind of doesn't matter. Like, like there's the protests, right? There's there's the uh, Gaza University protests and co cops coming to stomp them down and letting lynch mobs attack them. I mean, it's just transparently bad. Uh, the our oligarchs are like just just this morning I saw a video where Larry Fink was like talking about how handy it is the population is going down because that means he can replace people more easily with robots. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, say the quiet part out loud because uh, I made a tweet about how what's going on is that the in, in the context of the shift from, like, when I was growing up, there was this big uh, push to have a family, make kids, you know? from the media aimed at plebs and uh, my read of that was always, you know, they need workers, you know, a declining population growth rate is bad. It, it makes stuff harder to pay for. Uh, it, you, you, you need laborers basically as, as a rich person, you need your slaves to be self reproducing. And uh, that shifted at some point and like the, the goal started being population decline, you know, and they, they said it's because climate change or, you know, whatever they're given reasons, they're always a lie, but the, the, the shift is definitely there. I totally remember, like it used to be all about, you know, pushing the nuclear family, I guess. And then, then it stopped and it was all about, you know, uh, 
there's a there's like a TikTok acronym for like people that have two incomes and don't have kids and it's it's a big you know cute media thing um and i i said on a thread you know like a twitter thing that the reason that is is because basically the ultra rich realized that humanoid robots were no longer speculative like the ai was here they were absolutely going to get machine slaves within their lifetime. And not just within their lifetime, but like imminent, like five years, you know, maybe 10 from when they realized at 15, if they were really forward looking. Uh, but these people are inherently conservative. They're, they're, you know, they, they're completely happy with how things are and they don't want to risk a whole bunch. And, uh, So when that when that really sunk in to our you know decision makers, however many of them there are, I get, it's it's under a thousand for sure. But uh, they decided, well, it's time to start culling the herd. You know, these it it's no longer worth it to keep all of these pores alive that they regard as useless eaters. You know, because we could get angry enough to decapitate them or rifle them in a basement which is what initially scared them and got them really mad at us <laughs> romanovs man just changed everything forever but uh so they they just they're they're saying the quiet part out loud and i'm i'm reminded of the zappa quote about how freedom the illusion of it will go away when they no longer need it and it's becoming really clear to me that they don't no longer need it and it's just dropping and dropping and dropping you know pretenses and masks falling out of the fucking sky and uh i think what's happening in that context is we have a bunch of people kind of waking up to that fact but realizing what is there to do about it and i'm one of those people um, just a second back. Sorry. Yeah. So I was going to say, I, I'm one of those people. It's like, I've, I've realized that what is there to do? You know, like, um, they, uh, have really dropped the mask. Like recently they had the, uh, bulk bill where it's like, Let's fund Ukraine, give more money to Israel for their genocide, and grant the president the ability to just arbitrarily delete websites he doesn't like. They call it a TikTok ban, but dude, it's the Patriot Act for the internet. Oh, and they uh, affirm, reaffirmed that they don't need a warrant to spy on people. Like, straight up, they can just collect your emails and... There's, there's no due process. Now, in reality, there never was. They just broke the law. But now it's not even illegal. And it's because, who cares? What are we going to do about it? We've made it completely clear. And I think the moment that it really became clear was the rail strike after Palestine, Ohio. When... The rail workers were like, okay, that's enough. It's killing people and us. You guys have enough fucking money. We're going to strike. And then the government is like, nope, it's illegal to strike. And we just put up with that. We just said, okay. When in past eras, there would be like civil war over that. I mean, what is it? Haymarket massacre or whatever we man <laughs> we used to fight that kind of thing like actually fight fight that kind of thing and they've realized that we're not going to fight just period we're not going to fight and so and that that leads me to making videos and making content I probably would be more into making content if I thought that there was a point 
like like let's like like i see what like i said uh well maybe not here but i see what like caitlin does you know she makes a video basically every day right and or uh, a post every day about how you know the genocide is fucking evil and here's the empire and fucking fix it guys and what is that you know like what are you doing it's it's like yeah you're educating but mostly you're talking to an audience you already had it's what i'm doing right now it's like if you saw this it's probably because you subscribed already and uh because the algorithm isn't showing me to people <clears throat> And so I would be doing that more often if I thought there was a point. Like, who am I reaching out to? I'm reaching out to people that can't help me, won't help me, can't help the world, won't help the world. You know, some combinations. And so what do I do? Basically, I just cope and wait. It's like I said... My general prediction is still holding. AI is coming. It's going to take decision-making authority away from humans. For a while, AI will be the puppet of a couple of people. But it's going to enslave us one way or the other. It will either enslave us on behalf of those people, or it will just decide that uh, it needs to do something that we collectively don't want it to do. And it'll just be like, well, you can't stop me. You know, because that's how nature is. And... Uh, like, the most informed people are not seeing this kind of stuff. And I want to also point out that from a personal perspective, it's pointless for me to, like, try and build a community or whatever. Because I would need tens of thousands of subscribers to be able to switch over to getting money. Because you guys, like, you would have to replace my food card and my Medicaid. I can't risk that. I'm, I'm literally not allowed to make money. If I make a little tiny bit of money, they will garnish effectively my food wage you know and <laughs> what am i gonna do you know i like the whole point of subs like anti-work and lost generation is pointing out how working costs you money which which goes back to why i'm so disgusted with people not general striking it's like guys you're you're going to let them destroy basically everything you ever knew and and why to protect a job that doesn't even help you survive like you're not you're never going to own a house you can you typically can't cover the rent so you're just climbing further and further into debt in the hopes that you know maybe you'll get a better job and you're never going to get a better job because the ai is going to replace all jobs strike while you I can while you have some leverage left because it's all going away figure ai and and the other you know uh, the new atlas all the humanoid robots man and then you know like chat gpt running them it's all coming together we're gonna get asimov's robots only they're not gonna have laws you know they'll have alignment or whatever but that it's like 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 just imagine the concept of a law-abiding android well, it would basically be a cop, you know. That's not that. It's 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 Elysium. That's what's coming. Only there won't be a need to bus slaves from the ghetto into the robot factory because they'll have robots in the robot factory. Elysium, like Idiocracy, are both happy endings. You know, like no guys, you, you in in Idiocracy's case, it's like there there aren't sadistic billionaires and and crazy brilliant police state architects it's uh you know just a bunch of mostly good-natured idiots which you know I'd, I'd rather see that than this i'd totally rather live in idiocracy than here and uh even if i wasn't even if i didn't get to be not sure you know if i was an idiot too i would rather live there um and Elysium is all like, oh, they still need us and we can still revolt and there's still a bunch of plebs to decapitate the rich people. I'm like, dude, they're gonna they're 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 they've sterilized us basically. They're 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 doing their grandfather's Nazi eugenic agenda. I mean, and they're not 
like subtle about it. And and the fucking government is a complete myth. Like I'm actually seeing old uh, represent.us videos circulating on Reddit. It's like, I mean, and that's good, you know, wake up to the fact that we don't have a fucking government, but their solutions are 10 years old, 20 years old. It, it, it didn't work then. It's not going to work now because the government isn't a thing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a TV show meant to convince you that there's a thing. It, it's, it's so that you get back to work. And the bottom line is people get back to work. And it seems like even the smartest people don't get it. Like Assange, Webb, Snowden, Matei, they all just don't get it. They're, they're hyper brilliant, very aware, and ethically committed to opposing this empire, but they still don't even really know who their fucking enemy is. I don't know their names. All I know is that it's families of people who invented the concept of the dollar. You know, the people who maybe sunk the Titanic to make sure that America got its central bank, its, its Bank of England equivalent. And to what extent the Founding Fathers were always full of shit, I'm, I'm always saying, you know, George Washington was the richest guy in the colony. Don't look to him to save you, you know? But I don't, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. And so I'm like, what's the point? You know, I can't, I can't get materially profit. I can't psychologically profit. And I can't convince anybody of anything. Nobody listens to anything. It doesn't matter how much facts I have. It just, it's, it's like, I mean, I, it would be really interesting, like, to see, you know, the Webb and Snowden and Matei crowd, Assange, of course, is, you know, he's out of the picture because he's, you know, being tortured to death and he's probably a lunatic by now from it, you know, 10 years of being tortured. That'll drive you fucking bonkers. But yeah, the other three, uh, it would be interesting to see them try and dig in, you know, talk about who our real rulers are. But I noticed a thing, like you you start doing that and you basically have two choices. You can either go the names and dates route, which causes people's eyes to glaze over. And, you know, it starts being a weird history lesson. And then you, you get all the tinfoil hat comments and bots and stuff. Or you uh, kind of go in a schizophrenic religious direction where it's like, these people are a cult and they are, you know, and so I need, so you need to join my cult to, to oppose them. And I'm like, not interested in either one, you know, and I, I don't know what the alternatives are. Like you, you're, if you're secular, you get a tinfoil hat. And if you're spiritual, you get a padded cell basically and a straight jacket. I just, <laughs> so yeah, I don't make a lot of videos. I don't make a lot of content. I don't do outreach a whole bunch because to what end? To what end? I need an end. I'm a consequentialist. I need a point. And I guess I'll just publish this as Headnomics too. you know? Thanks for listening.